Today's episode is about the craziest battery technology for electric cars. But first, we want to say this. Only in a few years, when the Earth becomes hotter with about 45 degrees, you will see how important electric cars are. It is not by chance that governments of countries around the world encourage electric cars and give many credits to those who buy electric cars. $7,500 in the U.S. is the most typical. This is a good solution, but will bring a problem that is the scarcity of active ingredients in lithium batteries. The supply is definitely not enough. Many other battery technologies such as solar cells, salt are being researched but don't really have the potential to replace lithium because the energy density is too weak. But the so-called solid-state battery is an exception. If you are interested in the field of energy and storage solutions, you will notice that alongside lithium and sodium, solid-state batteries are considered breakthroughs frequently mentioned in recent years in an effort to sustain the development of the electric vehicle industry amidst the chaos of lithium-ion batteries. Of course, it is fair to compare lithium batteries and solid-state batteries as they'll soon be competing against each other. Many people have heard of solid-state batteries, but most seem to still need to revisit some basic knowledge about this type of battery. To put it simply, in any ordinary battery technology, for example a lithium-ion battery, we will have a cathode and anode. They are separated by a plastic polymer separator and liquid electrolyte solution such as a carbonate or ether that take about 25% of the battery's composition which will allow ions to move freely between the cathode and anode during charging and discharging. But in the end, everything still has a downside. If we say the majority of current lithium batteries that explode are due to liquid electrolyte solution, would you believe it? In fact, the liquid electrolyte is at risk of leakage, thermal runway, and dendrite growth. Dendrites are metal spikes that grow over time as the battery charges and discharges. At some point when these dendrites become dense and out of control, they can cause a short circuit or even puncture the battery, and in rare cases may lead to an explosion. So what if the liquid electrolyte were replaced by a more durable, robust, and less risky solid electrolyte made of sulfide or oxide? By now, we think you have a basic understanding of this type of battery. Compared to lithium-ion batteries, the operation of solid-state batteries is not significantly different. During charging, lithium ions are separated from the anode and move through the solid-state electrolyte to the cathode. During discharging, the lithium ions return from the cathode to the anode, releasing electrical energy. But now the issue becomes more complex and more interesting because few of us know that solid-state batteries are far superior to lithium-ion batteries in many ways. So what reasons have prevented their release, and why do we need solid-state batteries? Yes, there are quite a few questions to address, but let's see how they are convincing automakers compared to the gold standard of lithium. With solid-state batteries, electric vehicles will be able to travel distances equivalent to gasoline cars before needing to refuel. We know you might be skeptical, but this is also a fact you can find anywhere on the internet. As mentioned earlier, solid-state batteries are often lighter and have higher energy densities compared to other types such as traditional lithium batteries. The energy density of traditional lithium batteries is around 250 watt-hours a kg, while the energy density of solid-state batteries is close to 400 watt-hours per kilogram. This means that for the same weight of battery, solid-state batteries can store more energy. This decisive factor makes them appealing for EVs, where weight and power are crucial. Pound for pound, solid-state batteries can provide a power density of up to 1200 watt-hours per L compared to the 700 watt-hours per L of conventional batteries. Why we say solid-state batteries are particularly well-suited to a Tesla SUV is because the compact size of solid-state batteries would also be beneficial. Conventional batteries are essentially a slab of cells hidden in a car's floor. It's why many EVs are SUVs because the upright shape helps hide this battery. Because solid-state batteries are more power-dense, they can be lighter and smaller, as much as 50% shorter, so they require less energy to move and can be accommodated in a sleeker shape with a reduced frontal area and a lower drag coefficient that improves efficiency, perfect for an EV. In efforts to develop solid-state batteries as replacements for lithium-ion batteries, QuantumScape announced performance data in December 2022, showcasing their impressive volumetric energy density over 1,000 watt-hours per L. 
while the best current electric vehicle batteries stand at around 700 watt hours an hour. This disclosure garnered attention, and giant automaker Volkswagen responded by acquiring a 5% stake in QuantumScape and its solid state battery technology. It remains to be seen if Tesla will also invest in this project in the future. It's hard to predict, but it's unlikely that Elon Musk would overlook it. So, how do solid state batteries have higher energy density? The energy density of solid-state batteries is primarily improved through materials. You may not know that the anode electrode material of traditional lithium batteries is often lithium metal, and the cathode electrical material is made from materials like graphite or silicon. However, the anode and cathode electrode materials of solid-state batteries can be chosen from a variety of high-capacity materials, such as high-voltage anode electrodes, lithium-rich manganese-based cathode electrodes, silicon, carbon, composites, and so on. This allows the energy density of solid-state batteries to increase significantly. Thanks to the advantages of changing the electrolyte, Toyota has announced promising prospects for their solid-state batteries capable of traveling over 600 miles between charges. If achieved, Toyota would surely become a Tesla killer. Just kidding. Additionally, with solid-state batteries, automakers can install a smaller battery pack to save money on the most expensive component of an electric vehicle. Now, how long does it take to fully charge a solid-state battery? We believe that we all desire an EV that can be fully charged in a few minutes, or a laptop that only needs charging once or twice a week, or a laptop or phone with the same battery life as currently, but significantly lighter thanks to a smaller battery. Solid-state batteries accomplish all that. Now, let's talk about charging time. Tesla's batteries can fast charge in 15 to 25 minutes, but it's not encouraged. Charging your car that fast every day can actually shorten its lifespan. Tesla suggests using slower home charging methods, which will fully charge in 8 to 12 hours. But what about solid state batteries? The major advantage that makes this type of battery intriguing is its faster charging compared to traditional lithium batteries. The solid state electrolyte in solid state batteries has high ion conductivity, which accelerates the transport of lithium ions, thus speeding up the charging process. It can reach up to 80% charge in 15 minutes with fewer detrimental effects on lifespan compared to lithium, although achieving this involves various methods. As we've discussed, solid-state batteries use sulfides and oxides as electrolytes. The softness of sulfides has always been the key to speeding up the charging process. Ions move through sulfides more easily than some other electrolytes. Ions move quickly and smoothly, which means charge times become faster. In the case of oxide electrolytes, it can handle higher voltages, which simply means we can squeeze more ions through the electrolyte. Furthermore, some knowledge has shown that solid-state batteries can be charged five times more than lithium-ion batteries over their lifetime, increasing their longevity. Are solid-state batteries really safe for electric vehicles? Solid-state batteries have yet to be widely commercialized, so it's somewhat speculative to determine whether they are safer in real-world applications. However, as we explained earlier in the concept section, based on the structural properties of the electrolyte, they inherently offer a higher level of safety compared to lithium-ion batteries. The liquid electrolyte in lithium-ion batteries is highly flammable, but since solid-state batteries don't have that liquid, they don't have the same fire risk. Lithium-ion battery fires are rare, and automakers have built-in enclosures and safeguards to prevent them, but when they do happen, they're pretty violent and quite difficult to put out, sometimes consuming thousands of gallons of water. Many people who have negative opinions about electric vehicles and lithium batteries have always said that driving an electric car will someday be like striking a match, and solid-state batteries might change that at some point. In essence, there are still many things that can determine its safety, such as the thermal stability of solid-state batteries being higher than that of traditional lithium batteries. The reason is because the solid electrolyte in solid-state batteries has a higher melting point and is less likely to burn, so it's safer. In high-temperature environments, traditional lithium-ion batteries are prone to dangerous situations such as fires or explosions, a well-known fact in the EV industry for a long time. With the initial development of solid-state batteries, researchers assert that they can prioritize temperatures of 50 to 60 degrees Celsius for optimal performance. Of course, it's not foolproof either, with researchers believing that while solid-state batteries are less susceptible to thermal runaway from overcharging or internal short circuits, recent tests have shown that they can be flammable when crushed or punctured meaning that if an EV with a solid-state battery were to be involved in a major crash and the battery pack suffered a major impact, it could still catch fire just like normal. But at least it's many times less risky than most of today's batteries, and creating electric vehicles that don't catch fire with solid-state batteries is a big win for drivers, residents, and fire departments. 
Many EVs can only be used for a few years, while people expect cars to run for a decade or more, often several decades. We can't commit to it because there haven't been any long-term tests on electric cars with solid-state batteries yet. But considering all the advantages listed above, we think it's enough to make you understand that it's good and will be more durable than a lithium-ion battery pack. Now, let's return to address the initial question we posed. It seems like all the benefits are there, so what's preventing these batteries from reaching the mass market? The short answer is it's not simple or cheap. Primarily, it's due to materials and manufacturing, what SNU often faces in many challenges. And solid-state batteries are still in the early stages of research, so they certainly won't be exempt from hurdles. Until now, the battery is the most expensive component of an electric car, which makes focusing on the dollar even more crucial. The components of solid-state batteries are very demanding. They require very specific manufacturing techniques and specialized machinery. Typically, their cores are made from ceramics or glass and are difficult to mass-produce. And for most solid electrolytes, even a slight moisture can lead to a failure or safety issue. Therefore, solid-state batteries need to be manufactured under extremely controlled conditions. The actual manufacturing process is very labor-intensive right now, especially compared to traditional lithium batteries. All this makes their production extremely costly. There's one more thing we've recently discovered. Dendrites are also likely to form on solid-state batteries, shortening their lifespan. Although they are still more durable than lithium, luckily Harvard University is researching a solution using silicon to prevent dendrite growth. It works on a type of solid-state battery capable of performing 10,000 charge cycles, twice what you would expect from a lithium-ion battery. Toyota is also researching this issue and hopes to have a scalable solution by 2028. It's not incorrect to say that by 2028, 100% of researchers and manufacturers will find it challenging to obtain more solid-state batteries. In 2017, Toyota told the Wall Street Journal that it was on track to make a significant breakthrough in technology, potentially introducing solid-state batteries into showrooms by 2020. This could mark the pinnacle of nearly two decades of research and development by the world's largest automaker and a company striving to catch up in the electric vehicle arena. However, in an update on solid-state battery development in October 2023, Toyota stated, the goal is for the battery to be ready for commercial use by 2028. The delay compared to expectations has clearly demonstrated the challenges of this battery technology. Of course, efforts are being made to bring this type of battery to market as soon as possible, as at least two major companies have shown positive signs. Both Solid Power and Quantum Scape claim to have addressed some of the challenges with solid-state batteries. Both companies have demonstrated the ability to produce small quantities of their batteries. QuantumScape has not provided an official timeline for commercialization yet. The company is content with the small batches they can produce now and is gearing up to introduce and expand their Cobra production system by next year. QuantumScape asserts that this will enable them to manufacture solid-state batteries at a gigawatt scale, making commercialization of these batteries just a matter of time. The Japanese giant Toyota is not alone in setting deadlines for the mass production of solid-state batteries for electric vehicles. BMW also aims to have a working prototype by next year. One of the battery suppliers for Ford and Volkswagen believes they'll start mass-producing solid-states by 2028. Nissan also claims to introduce solid-state technology around 2027, potentially using them in sports cars and SUVs. On top of that, there's also the challenge of scaling up the production of solid-state batteries, and that's a necessary step to be used in electric vehicles. Although they've been utilized in some consumer electronics and low-volume applications, there is currently nothing quite like mass production required for electric vehicles. Dr. Adam Best, the lead researcher at Cicero, stated that scaling up production is the current bottleneck. Dr. Best explained, The physical production of the batteries is not a huge issue, but being able to reproduce these types of batteries at large scale is a significant challenge. He likened it to the early days of plasma TV technology. Initially, it was extremely expensive, but quickly became affordable as it was mass-produced. However, recycling solid-state batteries poses a challenge for wider deployment. Current lithium-ion battery recycling processes are relatively efficient for materials like nickel and cobalt, but encounter difficulties with lead and lithium. The lack of a closed-loop recycling system established for these specific components would further complicate the overall environmental impact and strain the supply chain in the future. Addressing these recycling challenges is crucial to ensuring sustainable production and consumption of solid-state batteries. Lithium batteries are likened to slow-burning bombs as the increasing number of explosion incidents raises questions about the safety of these battery packs for electric vehicles. According to media reports, in New York alone, there have been 22 incidents of lithium battery fires. 
There are enough stories to support this viewpoint. Some fire incidents, including fires involving Tesla vehicles and Ford electric pickup trucks, occasionally make the headlines. For instance, a recent spontaneous battery fire caused a car to ignite in California, requiring 6,000 gallons of water to put out the flames. In another incident, Ford Motor Co. suspended production and halted shipments of the electric F-150 Lightning pickup after a battery caught fire during a test drive in Michigan. Solid-state batteries are not only a safer alternative, but also reduce the carbon emissions of electric vehicle batteries. A recent study by Transport and Environment conducted by Minvero found that solid-state batteries could reduce the climate impact of batteries by 39% compared to lithium-ion batteries. Unlike lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries use more common and less toxic elements such as sodium. Electric vehicles with solid-state batteries are expected to enter the market as early as 2027, but we should be skeptical that these pioneering models will be affordable. It may take several more years for solid-state batteries to become economically viable at scale for the mass market. Tesla and Elon Musk have certainly considered solid-state batteries and their use in their vehicle lineup when this technology fully overcomes its current drawbacks. Progress in addressing issues such as durability, performance, and safety is gradually bringing this technology closer to leading electric vehicle manufacturers. When limitations regarding cost and production potential are addressed, Tesla can leverage solid-state batteries to significantly improve the range of its vehicles, shorten charging times, and enhance user safety. Implementing solid-state batteries will not only help Tesla maintain its pioneering position, but also accelerate the transition to clean energy, contributing to global environmental protection. What do you think about the solid-state battery and its potential in the future? Let us know in the comments down below. We appreciate it. Hopefully, you have the most relaxing feelings after watching our video. If you did, we humbly ask that you press the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And that way, you'll never miss out on any of our awesome videos. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.